Speaker. Call the for Cairns. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I rise to make my contribution to this motion and uh, I also support the amendments proposed by the Minister. Uh, first and foremostly, I would like to acknowledge the strengths, the perseverance and courage of Australian South Sea Islander peoples for surviving under the conditions in which they came to this country. Uh, Australian South Sea Islander peoples have maintained a rich cultural identity throughout and across Queensland from beginnings that, more often than not, were nothing short of horrendous, absolutely deplorable. So many, uh, so to many uh, Australian South Sea Islander peoples who call Cairns and Far North Queensland home, I'd like to say thank you for bringing so much to our community through so much hardship. Their contribution is significant and it is absolutely consistent. I'd just like to touch on a few points that the Minister for Multicultural Affairs touched on because this is, this is important. Whilst it might not be uh, seen as significant, it is absolutely important. And that is, is that, uh, you know, specifically in this year's budget, funding and projects were allocated and provided. And this came through uh, a number of people advocating, and they include 1.1 million investing over four years and $170,000 annually going, uh, which will be an ongoing spend to strengthen recognition of services to Australian South Sea Islander peoples in Queensland through support for projects and activities to address current levels of disadvantage faced by that community. So these are the telltale acknowledgements of government and we're investing in this. This is vitally important. We have a dedicated engagement officer who will be appointed within the Department of Children, Youth Justice and Multicultural Affairs to develop and oversee the delivery of initiatives in collaboration, this is important, in collaboration with the Queensland United Australian South Sea Islander Council. This position will be an important link between government and the Australian South Sea Islander peoples to ensure their needs are understood across government. This is all about engagement. It will build on the existing work and seize future opportunities, meaning better and more culturally appropriate service delivery. And we get the appropriateness of the service delivery. It is something that we have been working on and I've been talking with the Minister in a range of areas. The importance of understanding it is also intricate to the delivery of it. We are also providing $75,000 to the Queensland United Australia South Sea Islander Council for a number of programs and activities outlined in their business plan, including development of protocols to support respectful engagement of Australian South Sea Islander people. Next year, 2023, will also mark 160 years since South Sea Islanders came to Queensland. I know that many of these islanders were brought to Cairns and Far North Queensland, and I, and I am proud and honoured to be the representative of their descendants as the member for Cairns. And I can tell you, I consider many close friends, and they are integral in the involvement in our community and the positive ongoing development of it. The Queensland Government has also supported establishment of the Australian South Sea Islander Community Foundation, which provides university scholarships for undergraduate students. And I'm proud to say North Queensland's James Cook University is, is a participating university in this scholarship program and has been able to support a number of local scholarship recipients over the years. And it's worth noting that since 2005, the Queensland Government has provided funding through the Community Action for a Multicultural Society program to support the Australian South Sea Islander communities. And I can tell you that the LNP, who, uh, as you can see, aren't really here tonight, but in their programs they had planned to cut that, because that's what they do. They cut, they sack uh, and they member, sell. Uh, members, clock, uh, on the other order, hand... Order, I, member. It, it's a Order. Uh, it's a convention that we don't reflect on people's absence from the chamber. I, I call the member for Cairns. Three, three Thank you, Speaker. On the other hand, and in the spirit of truth and healing, the Palaszczuk government is committed to building a state where everyone, regardless of culture, language or faith, is supported, and can, and is, is supported to connect, to belong and contribute to the great Queensland lifestyle. I also want to acknowledge uh, the member from Irani for bringing this to the attention of the chamber. I know I've discussed this with him. I know he's passionate about it. What I would suggest to him is to have a good, long, hard look at the party he's a member of if he really wants to pursue this. I thank you very much for the opportunity to speak on this matter.